Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special episode of WoW Classic. Robert Rambles here, and thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be taking on Razorfen Downs with a random group of people who have assembled for this purpose. We have three warriors. We're not tanking today. Today we are staying as mostly arm spec, and we're going to be doing DPS along with a level 37 mage and a level 40 human warrior. And then we have a priest for heals. So we're running through the barons right now. I am the slowest of this group, apparently. I did stop off in Theramore to check out the first aid trainer there and pick up that quest. Um, which I failed as soon as I walked away because it's a quest that's done in that area. So we'll be headed back to do that uh, in some other episode. But for today, uh, while we're on the way, I'm going to read to you guys the history of Razor Fen Downs from Classic Wowhead. Crafted from the same mighty vines as Razorfen Crawl, Razorfen Downs is the traditional capital city of the Quillbore race. This sprawling, thorn-ridden labyrinth houses a veritable army of loyal Quillbores as well as their high priests, the Death's Head tribe. Recently, however, a looming shadow has fallen over the crude den. Agents of the Undead Scourge, led by the Lich, Amnamar the Coldbringer, have taken control over the Quillbore race and turned the maze of thorns into a bastion of undead might. Now the Quillbore fight a desperate battle to reclaim their beloved city before Amnimar spreads his control across the barrens. Alright, uh, looks like they're already fighting. We're gonna get situated and then I'll pop back in once we're actually heading into the instance. But as you can see, we have to clear a little ways to get there. I'm trying to avoid being in combat. Don't know where the graveyard is here. But once we get organized, I'll use some editing magic and we'll come back in. Alright, we are loading into the instance, so here we go. I have a feeling that we're probably going to pull pretty fast. Uh, we're all warriors, 43, 38, 37 mage, 40 human, and our priest is a little higher level than I would like. I didn't notice this, but he's level 51, so no doubt he'll be bringing down the overall kill experience and possibly making this too easy for us. Which has kind of been my experience with um, with classic dungeons. So far we come in a little over leveled and it just isn't as interesting. So we're going to try to make this a little bit interesting. I'm going to make sure that we have sweeping strikes going when we have multiple targets like this. And just use every support trick we have to diminish their strength and keep our party buffed is how we're going to approach this as a melee DPS warrior. And if we could pull like that, then we should be okay. It'll provide a little bit of challenge for the healer, and definitely challenge for us to DPS everything down, and keep it off the mage, typically, like these guys here that are just <laughs> running after the mage. And there are going to be seven bosses in here, and I'm hoping that we can take on all of them. I have some marks going out, always appreciated and nice to see. Oh, uh, it looks like um, another warrior already has the next rank of battle shout, so we actually won't have to worry about buffing unless we see that we don't have the buff at all.
and I will let the tank pull, although I'm fairly certain that we're all wielding two-handers. We are. Uh, we're all wielding two-handers, so... I guess it really doesn't matter too much who pulls. They have more health than I do, so... I'm fine with letting them pull. Alright, now we don't want to necessarily pull both these groups. Um, we might though. We might if we if we have to run over to this spear hide over here. We're gonna pull that other group. Oh no way. It's because they're green level, right? I I think if they were yellow, we would have definitely aggroed that. Oh, and I meant to mention earlier, sorry if my voice is a little off today compared to other videos, especially I've been getting over a cold for a little while now. And my voice is still not what it needs to be, but it's getting back to where it should be. Killing them fast enough that by the time I have enough rage to get sweeping strikes up, one of them is typically dead. But still probably good to use even if there's only two targets. Yeah, it only strikes one additional enemy anyway, so yeah, as long as we have two targets we can use it. For some reason I was thinking that it would hit more targets, but I'm probably thinking of retail. We'll try to let it save up first. And then we'll hit that, and then we'll go with Demoralizing Strike. And then we'll start putting out some damage. And we should be standing behind these guys as much as we can, obviously. watched any other uh, the dungeon videos that we've done you'll know that I haven't gotten a blue drop yet from a dungeon and this probably won't be the time that changes we'll see Ooh, we were pretty close to this other group. And I didn't even really notice they blended in pretty well there. I'm really glad that our runs can stack. It would be really sad if they couldn't. Then you'd basically never have a group bring more than a single warrior, right? Man, I bet this mage could be throwing out some uh, smites and stuff. Could really help us clear these a little faster even. Or this mage. If I said mage, I meant priest. Uh, yeah, he could help us out with DPS. He's level 51, so... He's probably got some good tricks up his sleeve. Uh, he might just be chilling back there. Can't really tell.
it's incredibly hard to generate the rage we would want to have when we're not getting hit by anything. I don't necessarily want to start taunting off of anybody, but I'd really love to get sweeping strikes up every pull. And it costs a lot of rage. Yeah, if these guys were any higher level, they would definitely aggro us. I think they're set up to do that if you don't pull carefully, but we're getting out of it. Uh, that's going to take some effort to keep all of these guys off the mage. But let's focus this guy down. And let's get sweeping strikes up and go to it. Pretty useful having three warriors because we can all take a little bit of damage. It's when they get on to the mage that it's a big problem for us. Let's taunt that off. We'll be a little bit more vigilant. I'll try to watch the mage's health bar uh, because we can easily taunt it off of him if he does pull something. And since he's probably doing most of the DPS, I feel like it's only right that we keep him safe. Because he's not one of those mages that's pulling, so... Oh man, this guy's running in place. What does that mean? It could mean he disconnected. Uh, we're not going to do anything until that resolves. Okay, whatever happened, he's back. And maybe he's fine. His character rubber banded. Then he stood there s still in silence and nobody said anything and then he was running around so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that everything's good. It's really kind of a pain to replace players in classic dungeons when you do have somebody drop out. So I hope that doesn't happen but we're playing with random people who we don't know so it's always a possibility. Intellect, Strength, Two-Handed Mace, that'd be amazing for a Paladin right now. Oh, we, we got it. We don't need it, but it's cool. We'll sell it. Uh, now, if we did ring this gong, I think it's going to summon a Spider Boss. I do remember this Spider Boss. Okay, yeah, a bunch of ads are going to come out. And we're going to pick up all of these little guys. And eventually, a giant spider is going to come down. And we're going to get to fight it. And it's going to be gruesome, because, you know, giant spiders, I hate spiders. And these aren't really spiders, these are, these are Nubians, right? So it's like even worse, because, yeah, because they're evil. And they're spider-ish. Nerubians. Correct me if I'm not if I'm not calling them what they actually are. I'm pretty sure they're called Nerubians. But I could be totally wrong. Is it bugged? I hope not. Gotta ring the gong. Yeah, like we know that I can't interact with it. Someone ring it. And do we need an item to ring it? That's the question. Very strange. Very strange. I hope they figure it out.
Okay, are we moving on? I'm not sure why we're not doing that, boss. Maybe this is a wave? Is this a wave of Tomb Fiends? Okay, I mean, maybe they maybe we are. Maybe it came from this way. I'm not sure. But I'd rather not skip any bosses. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking maybe that was one of the waves. Maybe. Oh, we have to... Yeah, I well, had an option there to click it just now. Okay. So he said they were hiding back there. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. So it wasn't necessarily that it was bugged, but they spawned and chilled beyond the corner there. And they didn't run into the room, so... Maybe a little bugged. Just a little bit. Um, let's... Get a li oh god, we can't move. I want to be pulling some of this off the mage when it gets on him, but there we go. We pick this one up. We'll get a couple sunders and we'll go back into battle stance. So it's got a similar problem. This guy. Alright, that went okay. We did an okay job of keeping aggro off the mage. She took a few hits. Alright, here he comes. Tutankash. Ah, oh, look at him. Get a good look at this guy, shall we? Doesn't seem like he's gonna do anything too special. He's rooting people with his webs. Oh shit. What did he do? Curse of Tutankash, casting speed reduced by 15%, time between attacks increased by 18%, so just nerfed our DPS basically. Uh, pretty ineffectual though. Leather, 10 nature resistance, 9 agility, 10 stamina, that's cool. We don't need it, obviously, but cool. Alright, that's a, another boss down. It takes a lot of patience and rage to get that uh, sweeping strikes off, but I feel like it's worth it.
Well, we have a locked chest, but we don't have a rogue. I feel like we could do something with this holding, but oh, look at this. Is this the escort quest or what? Outstanding. My name is Bellenstraz, and I thank you for rescuing me. I had given myself up for dead, or worse. Uh, okay. <laughs> he had given himself up for dead, or worse. What can I do? Bellenstraz. Did we not get the quest? Is that what happened? Yeah, it doesn't look like we got it. That is pretty unfortunate. I doubt it is. I guess we should have accepted it instead of trying to read it, but I do like to read all my quests. Well met. Fun times, not shareable. Welcome to Classic. Oh, he's phasing through the wall. There he goes. Oh, he got him. Okay, so we're just protecting him while he does his thing. Makes sense. Channeling energy into this totem or statue, rather. I don't feel like these elites are as strong as the elites that are just native to the dungeon. They just seem to go down pretty quickly. It could be that everyone is trying harder, I don't know. Just a pile, piles upon piles of dead quill bore. And they just keep coming for more. You'd think they would learn. I feel, I, well, I don't feel bad. Actually at all. Especially because I'm doing this quest for free. The only joy I have is thinning their numbers. Guys have been at it for a little while. With no intention of stopping anytime soon.
One more minute. Hold now. The ritual is about to take place. Oh, the ritual is going to take place. What's going to happen after the ritual take pl takes place? Are we going to have to fight something else? Possibly something more dangerous than these Quillbore? Are we going to fight this guy himself? I don't know. But we're not done fighting Withered Quillbore yet. Plagmal the Rotting. Okay, let's pick this guy up. He's level 40 and he seems to have quite a bit of health. I'm assuming he's perhaps the boss. That's it, we made it. The ritual is set in motion. And idle fires are about to go out for good. You truly are the heroes I thought you would be. Yeah, we're great. No doubts. We are poisoned with a disease. Reducing our strength and some other stats I didn't quite catch. A lot of parries I see going off up there. Swine Fist. 8 strength and 8 agility, but on a leather item. Uh, useless to anybody. I mean, a hunter could use it, because sometimes a hunter will melee, but not ideally. You definitely wouldn't want to stack strength, so welcome again to Classic. It turns in there for everybody but us. Woot. And the guy who wanted to do it missed it again, missed the turn in, I guess. I don't know. Seems like a kind of a buggy quest. I'm surprised that, you know, we didn't even get to accept it when he started moving. So, there's that. Perhaps a big waste of time, but there's the quest. If you're interested in that. Okay, we're back on track here. There's the boss, there's a million skeleton ads. No, we don't want to auto run into them. Uh, and here we go. Yeah, we could just pull all these guys, but we might want to control him a little bit. I guess it's fine. These guys are dying super fast. Oh, cool. That's great. He's shackled undead. That's really cool that we can do that to this guy. Of course, we're immune to rend here, or he is immune to rend, so we're not going to do that. And we're not going to be able to sunder him either with the other warrior's sunder already applied. So we will just focus on Heroic Strike. Held an offhand, 5 stamina, 11 spirit, really good for if we had an, an at level healer, but we don't, so probably nobody even needs that in the group. Nope, nobody even needed it. Ah, uh, there's like Grave Moss I don't really care about. Alright, let's go. They're probably looking for the Grave Moss. I think one of them is an herbalist. Alright, we are missing one of our group. Looks like he's headed this way. Oh, 
Seems like an okay time for that. Oh, we got one of them off the mage. Hopefully someone gets the other. Ebony Bone Club, one-handed mace, five strength, five shadow resist. Well, we're not in that configuration, so we won't need on it, but pretty cool anyway. At least the ghouls can bleed. That was a little weird. He's immune, targeting and rending the wrong mob. Not a good look. It takes us so long to get the rage we need uh, to even th think about sweeping strikes that, yeah, everything is uh, getting defeated before we even have enough rage to pop it. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm going to assume that the Frozen Souls are also going to be immune to Rend or any kind of bleed damage. That's quite a quite a big pull for even for us being out leveled as we are. I'm gonna focus this Frostweaver down. Yeah, it looks like we're just fine.
And I think this is the last part of this, this ascent up the spiral. We should encounter a few bosses along the way, culminating, I think, in the last boss. Now, Glutton, he's a boss. He's Well, we're going to get him with this group, it looks like. I mean, yeah, pulling him back would be a fine idea. If you guys actually want to pull him back, we're going to have to move a little bit faster, though. That's not quite fast enough. But nice try. Nice try, guys. Yeah. Well, this could be fun. Let's take some of the heat for a minute while the healer gets the other warriors back up. Okay, should be good now. Looks like we're going to be just fine. And it's probably thanks to our healer being level 51. Oh, you could really tell when the mage runs out of mana, the <laughs> damage kind of just stops showing up. Uh, leather, I got excited because they looked like plate or mail. Leather, shoulders, five strength, again, strength, agility, and stamina. So those are awesome because they have both agility and strength on them. Obviously, they're awesome for a hunter. Uh, we won them anyway. We'll vendor them for all they're worth. So that's okay. Yeah, how about some non-leather drops? Says one of three warriors in the group. There are no leather wearers here. Guys, come on. Alright, let's keep this show moving, shall we? <laughs> I look back and nobody's moved. No, Robert, we shall not. Alright, guys. Take this guy, hopefully keep him up the mage for a second. Well, it was literally about a second that we kept him. Basically until the taunt wore off, right? At least he lived. He's not pulling, you know, the mobs like intentionally, he's just dealing a shit ton of damage. Which we need, so. Try to keep him alive. I am looking forward to a future Fury build where maybe we'll have some more Rage Generation abilities, uh, just a bigger toolkit to generate Rage, and that'll probably make us more effective when we decide to dungeon as DPS. It's just hard to do a lot of damage output when you're not being targeted as an Arms Warrior. You're relying on that for a lot of your Rage.
Alright, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are ascending the spiral peak in the gloom of Razorfin Downs. Finding the heart of the undead infestation. Well, we've made like a golden here just looting, so that's pretty cool. I'll take a gold or two. Probably be able to sell a bunch of stuff as well. Uh, let's, yeah, let's not get that other group. Well, we all got a little beat up during that pull. It feels nice when we get our entire sweeping strikes in and there's like still some mobs alive at the end so we know we didn't waste it. That's good timing, that's when we've done something right. Somebody is looting during the pull. How dare you? How dare you? I mean, I'd like love to have that shield. I think I'm gonna grab it. You know, for when we do a dungeon as a tank. Oh, we're rolling off on it. I don't really need it badly enough to take it from somebody, but... Or are we rolling for something else? We're rolling for the chest. I don't know what happened to the... I don't know if I need the chest either. I guess that means I get the chest. I don't really know. I didn't see everybody roll one, two, three, four. Somebody didn't roll. Okay, somebody's going BRB. We're gonna cut out and use some editing magic. Looks like we are all back.
Not sure what's up with the weird blue fire, but apparently nothing to do with us. These guys might be dying more slowly because they probably have more armor, more health, and all of them are immune to all three of our bleed effects. And we all seem to be trending towards being arms warriors, so we rely on that bleed, both from rend and gouge, to do some damage for us, and we're just not getting that damage here. But it's okay because I think we're nearing the pinnacle here. Gotta start getting my charge in. That's really hurting us as far as rage generation goes. And there goes the mage for the first time. Um, okay. This is fine. Uh, he went down pretty quick. I noticed it, but honestly, by the time I noticed it, it was far too late. Also, kind of worried about the warrior back there behind us. Uh, but we'll, the healer should be able to take care of it, although the healer doesn't have a lot of mana left. To be fair, uh, we need to be targeting this guy. Alright, or not. I think we've got this, but kind of unfortunate that we had to lose the mage. He had done so well to stay alive up until that moment. Alright. Am Amnimar? Amninar. The Coldbringer. Here we come for you. It's funny because we're here because the undead have made a home in the, in the Quillbore capital city or major city. So you'd think we're here to like liberate the Quillbor from the undead, but in order to liberate the Quillbor from the undead, we basically kill every single Quillbor in the city. So think about that. That's kind of my take on things. 
I mean, obviously they were corrupted. But I mean, who did we save this place for? Oh, we just came here for loot, honestly. Of which we didn't get any, but... That's okay, too. It's been fun to come back here after 13 years. Alright, I think we're ready to pull. Yeah, guys? Poke, poke. Um... I don't know where he's going, but it's... There we go. We're, we're going in. We're going in. Badass looking lich. A uh, level 41, actually. Pretty impressive. He's the hand of the lich king. That's very interesting, actually. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's uh, try to pick these guys up with the rage we don't have. I don't know. I think we should just focus him down, right? Um, and hope that... Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good for Melane. Alright, he's alive. Alright, guy's down and all, all of his minions despawn when he dies. Perfect, perfect. Uh, plate, ice mail, barbutes. Yeah, that'd be amazing as if we're gonna win it. 15 strength, 10 stamina, 7 spirit, 10 frost resistance. Let's roll. And then let's like make sure that we have space for when we don't win it. Yep, Melane won it. We had a chance. Hey, at least we saw something cool for once. Uh, we didn't get it. It would have been a nice present for ourselves at level 40, but honestly, we're level 38, so we can't equip it for a long time anyway. And that's it, guys. That's the full dungeon. Hope you had a good time. I had fun in here. It was a little bit too easy having the out-leveled people. I feel like every time I do a dungeon, I end up with somebody who's a little bit too high of a level than I would like, but otherwise, had a good time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'm not sure what other dungeons we could do at this level, but, you know, pretty soon we might be able to do Razor Friend Crawl. I could go back and do Nomergon, but again, I'm a little out-leveled for that, so we'll see. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. Take care, and we'll see you next time.